I want to introduce a, a very good friend of mine who I've gotten to know uh, well over the last year. Um, Marion Cohen is the, he's the uh, president or chairman of the Israeli Federation of Binational Chambers of Commerce. And this uh, summit, which we hoped will become, we, which will become an annual summit, was really birthed, uh, it, the idea was birthed in a brainstorming session with Marion. We were talking about, you know, the, the way that some of the chambers have struggled uh, with this campaign that I mentioned, uh, um, uh, the campaign to boycott Israel. And um, some, of the, some of the people around the table were saying, you know, it, it seems like the evangelical Christian community in our countries, uh, I remember uh, Czech, uh, the Czech Republic was specifically mentioned, were our strongest advocates when we were trying to fight those BDS or those boycott you know, regulations that, that, other, that lobbyists were trying to, to pass in our countries. And we said, what if we created a, a business matchmaking platform to invite uh, Christian business networks and chambers of commerce to come and build relationships, strengthen relationships with Israeli business people, which we really think is the best answer to BDS. You can't really win by boycotting the boycotters. We're here to create relationship. We're here to, to move forward on a positive uh, note. And um, so uh, thank you, Marion, for being a thought leader. And uh, we look forward to hearing what you have to say. Thank you, Kalev. You know, when I prepared for this event, Kalev told me, just please keep in mind, it's a serious event, no jokes, and be focused, okay? <laughs> and then the guy comes and begins his welcome uh, speech with a joke. <laughs> so then I found out that both Kalev and myself, we have the same initials, MC. So. One small request, please. Whenever today anything goes very well, it's on behalf of this MC. <laughs> if something goes not so very well, well, so sorry, the other MC. <laughs> so good morning, shalom, here in Tel Aviv, the city that doesn't rest and where things happen. I'm welcoming also our friends that probably will join us uh, a little bit later on, uh, the Honorable Minister Gilad Erdan, uh, Shraga Brosh, the President of the Manufacturers Association in Israel, uh, Adiv Baruch, who is uh, sending uh, his best wishes from far away. He's the Chairman of the Israeli Institute, another uh, partner of ours for this event. And of course, my very dear friend, Jan Stureson, who is the chairman of the ICCC and the most, most valuable partner in making this important event happen. So dear, dear guests, our Christian friends, Israelis, business people, my colleagues from the Chambers of Commerce in Israel, it's an extreme honor to be here today discussing the cooperation needs and opportunities for the business members of our communities. The needs are obvious. All of us, we want to succeed, we want to prosper, we want to conquer new markets, and at the same time, we want to do well and we want to contribute to our communities, to our people, to mankind in general. Two days ago, I had the pleasure, an extreme pleasure and honor, to be a guest at the summit of ICCC in Jerusalem and meet these wonderful and warm-hearted Zionist Christians who, out of pure belief, have put Israel and the Israelis at the center of their thoughts, defined the cooperation with Israeli industries, companies, business persons, and so on, as a focus of the ICCC activities, and I couldn't think of a better and more natural partners. The world as we used to know it 10 years ago, five years ago, even two years ago, is changing. It's changing quickly. The global world is much more sensitive and subject to immediate subtle, local, and wider changes, politics, economy, trade, commerce, taxes, customs. And we need to adapt. We need to refine our new strategies. We need to find new partners. We need to align new alliances. 
Israel, we are the startup nation. We reached maturity already. And after celebrating our 70 independence, although still managing and fighting for our survival, we have diligently found our place between the science and technology leading countries in the world. So this young country has fought, dreamt, and dared. I'm sure that you know the names of uh, Mobileye, Waze, Teva, Checkpoint, Medinol, NDS, Platica, Olmotec, Iskar, many other that are significant <clears throat> milestones on this road. I asked my friends two days ago if they remember ICQ. You know ICQ Mirabilis? That was the first social online platform. That was only 20 years ago. Probably some of you don't even heard about that because you are too young, but it was only 20 years ago. In agriculture, energy, security, health, water and clean tech, intelligence, cyber, sciences, communications, fintech, automotive industries, new media, as in many other domains, we are the front and the leading edge. But that was yesterday and today, as Jan told me, today is yesterday already. I told you two days ago that I have many friends probably, so another friend of mine says that the best way to keep young is to be a startupist. He did it three times successfully. You need to keep up your curiosity, ingenuity, continue innovating, do not let borders or frontiers limit you, and here I do not talk politics. You need to wake up every day ready and willing to fight for your survival, and perhaps you will not strike it rich, but you'll keep your, your youth even when you get mature. We'll talk today about opportunities. As an Israeli, I can tell you that knowing my people with the necessary political correctness, we are good. We are even very good. We create, we think, we invent, we present, we innovate, we prove and improve, but then we need to market and sell. And here, we only think that we are good, but really, there is a lot much that has to be done. We can and we should reach more markets, export more, improve and widen our international economic and commercial cooperation. And this is why we are here, beginning to work out with you the cooperation strategies and alliances that will contribute to our mutual benefit. As the CEO and now president of the Mayor Group, we are an Israeli company. We develop, implement, integrate communication, security, intelligence, and cyber solutions worldwide. For the last more than 20 years, I travel a lot in Latin America and in Africa. I even used to live in, uh, South, Af in South America. I meet more and more Israeli companies, but I in, I encounter increasingly more and more leading, powerful, and influential members of the quickly expanding community of the evangelical Christians. Your adherence and proximity to the emerging new generations of leaders worldwide, second only to your unconditional support and love of Israel, its people, and its purpose make it only natural for us to foster our commercial and economic business cooperations between Israeli and Christian companies worldwide. It is our responsibility, and I strongly believe that by joining our strength, we will benefit and enhance the Israeli export, your businesses, and we will help improve the world we live in. We at the Israeli Federation of the Bilateral Chambers of Commerce in Israel, incorporating 55 different chambers, Alongside our friends from ARISE and the ICCC, the Ministry of Economy and Industry, the Israeli Export Institute, and the Association of Industrialists are organizing this first 
Business Summit here in Tel Aviv, and I'm impressed to see this big and enlightening audience. Business is done between people, and our intention is to bring together the members of our organizations, present new trends and ideas, opinion leaders, talks, and success stories, discuss the BDS and how to tackle it, as well as other evil initiatives like the UN's blacklist. And frustrating as it is, I get inspired by your will, my friends, to stand by us, providing together light and hope. I'm confident that the more than 250 direct B2B businesses, meetings that we have coordinated for today, will have a significant contribution to the benefit of all of us. It is our hope and we plan to turn this event into an annual summit to take place here in Israel every year. And I already invite you for our next summit in 2019. I just want to remind you that next week we have here in Tel Aviv the uh, fifth uh, exhibition of HLS and Cyber. This is a leading and one of the most prestigious events in this domain in the world. It's going to be amazing, interesting, and I urge you to come and visit us. So my dear Israeli colleagues and our Christian Zionist friends, our best goodwill ambassadors in the world, I wish us a fruitful and a beneficial cooperation. So let's meet and let's make business. Thank you very much.